So the Sigma 18 to 35 is pretty much like a legend. It's an amazing lens. It's probably still the single best lens you could buy for APS-C cameras. The 22 millimeter Canon is a lot cheaper than the Sigma lens. It's a similar focal length. The Sigma covers the 20, 22 millimeter range. I'm gonna tell you the differences between both of those lenses, which one I would recommend, and why I actually keep both of them. So first, let's talk about the Sigma, the pros of the Sigma. So pretty much the Sigma is like a perfect lens. It's amazing. It's good for low light because it's 1.8 aperture. The bokeh is beautiful and creamy, as you could probably see in the background right now, even though I'm shooting on this Canon M50, which isn't a full frame camera. The autofocus is good, it's snappy. It's, I've never had any problem with the autofocus. It's just the bad boy beast of a lens, you know? 18 millimeters to 35 millimeters is so versatile. You could use it for B-roll, you could use it for interviews, you could use it for landscape shots, you can use it for filmmaking, documentaries. It's pretty much an amazing lens. The only drawback about this lens, as far as I'm concerned, is the noise that it makes when it's focused. If you're gonna be using it in the studio and your microphone is not gonna be on top of your camera, then it's really not an issue. Let's say you're using a shotgun mic or a lav mic or something like that, not a problem. But if you're ever in a situation where the mic has to be mounted on top of the camera, you can hear the autofocus noise, especially if you're in a quiet room and there's no ambient noise anywhere. It's much worse on Sony than it is on Canon, I'll give it that. Now on the Canon, it's noticeable, but it's definitely not as loud as the Sony's, but it's still noticeable. The 22 millimeter, the pros of it, it's cheap. You can buy it right now for like probably right around 200, 250 bucks. So this one here is a two F2 aperture. So it's close to the Sigma, but not quite, not quite as fast. But nevertheless, it's, it's fast. So it's, it's good for low light situations. The lens is sharp. The autofocus is snappy. The color rendition is, is pretty nice. There's one drawback to it though. The bokeh on it is uh, is busy. It's distracting. It's not it's not super creamy, like you know, like you see back here, like this Sigma lens. I mean, you're still gonna get bokeh. Don't get me wrong. And in some instances, it looks nice. But in many instances, it does kind of look busy. It doesn't look like a full frame camera. With this right here, with the M50 right now and the Sigma lens, you know, it could pass for a full frame camera. Other than the grain and the noise you're gonna get in the shadows, which is uh, inherent to the M50. But other than that. I mean, this could pass for a full frame camera as far as I'm concerned, especially in terms of the bokeh. So that's the thing. If you're not interested in bokeh, you're not going to be trying to get shallow depth of field. And the 22 millimeter is, it's a pretty nice little lens. If bokeh is your thing, nah, it's, it's a no-go as far as I'm concerned. Why do I keep both the 22 millimeter and the Sigma 18 and 35? And this is the biggest advantage of the 22 millimeter. The 22 mil, the autofocus is silent completely, 100%. So if I'm ever in a situation where I ha I'm in an area where I have to shoot and I can't use a shotgun mic or a lav mic and I need to mount the microphone on top of the camera, the 22 mil is perfect for that because you're not gonna get any autofocusing noise from the motor whatsoever. There's another EFM lens that has smooth bokeh, real nice bokeh. It's the uh, 32 millimeter F1.4. That one has real smooth bokeh, but the thing about that is that the autofocus on that also makes noise. The noise isn't as bad as the Sigma, but it's still present. You can still hear the, the motor noise. If it wasn't for that, that lens is amazing because the bokeh on that lens is super smooth and it's faster than the Sigma, it's f1.4. The only disadvantage would be that it's 32 mil and you can't you know, go to 18 like you can on this Sigma. If you're on a budget and you have to choose between one and the other, then your budget's gonna dictate that you're gonna go with the 22 mil, you know, because you're still gonna pay a nice price for this Sigma. If you're interested in getting the 22 millimeter or the Sigma 18 to 35, you can use our affiliate links below. That about wraps up this video, guys. So until next time, it's your boy Fulan. Peace.